Hi, and welcome to Great Getaways. Today we're going to celebrate the new year with a taste of hops, spirit, and the fruit of the vine when we travel across the Great Lakes Bay region of Michigan and visit some of the finest craft breweries, spirit, and wine bars in the country. There are so many great stops in this region that we had to make two shows, so let's get started on part one of this incredible journey. Oh my. Today, we begin part one of our two-show tour through the three counties of the Great Lakes Bay region in mid-Michigan. On our great getaway, we're going to experience the best craft beers, spirits, and wines, sampling the unique foods that go along with them. Go ahead and make some notes to remind you of which beverage and meal will please your palate as you head for your own tasting experience. The craft beer industry is thriving and growing in Michigan. Recently, Thrillist ranked Michigan number four in the best in beers for the nation. Our first stop is the Lumber Barons in Bay City, where we'll meet up with our co-host, Lori Amo. Located on Midland Street, you'll find yourself at another great brewery and in store for a fabulous barbecue meal. Lumber Barons Brewery has gone back to the history of the lumbering era because it stands where a lumber mill the world's largest at the time once stood. The site is now a microbrewery where they make lots of award-winning craft beer and where you will drink a lot of beer, eat a lot of great food, and have a lot of fun. Or you'll find yourself at another great brewery and in store for a fabulous barbecue meal. Lumber Baron's Brewery has gone back to the history of the lumbering era because it stands where a lumber mill, the world's largest at the time, once stood. The site is now a microbrewery where they make a lot of award-winning craft beer and where you can drink a lot of beer and have a lot of fun. Tell us, how many beers do you produce here? Uh, well, I currently I have 12 beers on tap, house-made, and one root beer. Uh, I keep about six stable beers on all the time, okay. and then I have six different seasonals. Do you bottle them here? Uh, I do not, although you can get growlers to go, Okay. and I also fill growlers too. Okay, that's, I was wondering if people, could, if they find a beer that they really like, can they take it home with them? Yes, they can. Where you can savor slow-cooked, fresh, southern-style, mouth-watering, big-portioned barbecue. One reviewer said, I have ate smoked ribs all around the South and served by national champions. These ribs are the best I have had in Michigan. The Memphis style is outstanding, and although I do not put sauce on my ribs, the special cherry sauce is great. This food looks fabulous and smells fabulous, and it looks like you brought a couple of beers over for us to enjoy with our meal. What kind of beers have you served today? Uh, I have my Timberwolf, which is basically, a, a, it is a lager, a Dortmunder okay. style lager. Uh, nice, crisp, clean, uh, more like an imported lager with German hops. And I also brought my Cardinal Red, which is of an Irish red. And I have these beers on all year long, so. They look delicious. Mm. Speaking of delicious, we should talk about the food. Oh, Hi, that's Steve. good. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you? This is Steve with the Rusty Saw Smokehouse. And I think he created this. What is here on this well, wonderful you, you, plate? You got some beef brisket, which we smoke overnight. Mm. Uh, tough cut of meat, but we smoke it till it's we, we, we smoke it into submission. Okay. And we also have a half a chicken, so that would be like our half and half, uh, one of our half and half dinners. Looks um, delicious. Got our garlic mashed potatoes, mm. homemade chili. That looks like it has a lot of meat in it too. It does. It has some. Uh, we hand trim our own ribs, so we get a oh. lot of. Uh, extra meat left over from that. It goes in our sausage. We make homemade sausage here. Uh, it goes into everything, our sides, our famous rib loaf. 
does anybody, has anybody ever been able to finish a plate of your food? You know, we go through a lot of takeout boxes because not, not too many people can, but it's a barbecue. You don't want a, a pea on a plate with a little squirrely sauce, and that's not what you expect here. It looks wonderful. And you're open to having groups here, too? We are. So you have banquet facilities and all of that? Upstairs, uh, the, the largest room, I believe, seats uh, around 300, and they have a couple small rooms, and we have two other bars in the facility also. Is your mouth watering like ours? Give us a tweet on at Great Getaways TV when you're there. There is more food, beer, and fun to be found in Bay City. Dry City Brewing Company, voted three years in a row as the favorite brewery in the Great Lakes Bay region, distributes four beers across Michigan, and there's always 20 craft beers on tap. Ooh, it makes my Irish blood well with excitement. Located at 3020 North Water Street, Bay City, Tri-City Brewing Company opened its doors in 2007 and opened its tap room to the public in 2012. At least once a month, they feature a new beer on draft, showcasing how much hard work, passion, and dedication its owners have. And today, you just said you finished brewing what flavor? Uh, we did Hell's Half Mile. Uh, it's a Munich-style Hell's, uh, traditional German beer, and it's our flagship. You can get it at every Meyer in the state. So. And why is it called Hell's Half Mile? Uh, well, Hell's Half Mile is a Bay City thing. I'm not from Bay City, but I'm, I know it's a stretch of highway or a stretch of road here in Bay City. It's got some historic implications. It was but. quite lively back in yeah, the lumbering there you go. era. All right, okay. Yeah. Well, we do a lot of traditional style beers. Uh, we Right now we have four Belgian beers on tap. Uh, everything from Belgian Pale Ale to a Belgian Quad. and. Uh, um, but then we also do some experimental stuff. So, I mean, we, we got a wide variety. Everybody, everybody will like it. Okay, and do you do seasonal beers for like every season, spring, summer, winter, fall? Yeah, pretty much. We just did a, we just did a winter warmer, getting it ready for okay. the, it's the it's first time we brewed it. Uh, and that'll be ready sometime in December, maybe? Okay. Somewhere right around then. But yeah, we have spring beers, we have summer beers, we, we have it all. Tap Room is a great place to enjoy your brew, your favorite sports team on the television, or a fun night of trivia. Choose from Hell's Half Mile, honoring Bay City's lumber days when Water Street was known as Hell's Half Mile or the Penniless Hippie, an English ale known as an extra strong bitter. The Brown Hoist Brew draws its name from the rich industrial history of Bay City and Loon's Summer Ale should be enjoyed by the lake at the cottage or in the backyard. It is the perfect complement to any summer day around the Great Lakes. Still in Bay City, we move over to Midland Street, a dining destination where we find Vino Wine and Warehouse and New Age Restaurant. Known for its giant assortment of wine for every taste and pocketbook, it also offers dining so that you can pair your food with your wine pick. And today at Vino, we have a beautiful display of wines. How many do you have here about? Lori, I gosh, I, I thought that was important when we first started, but I'm kind of losing track. I think we're somewhere um, north of about 700 different selections and growing. Um, we're a, still a new business in our first okay. year, and uh, everything's going real well here. With, um, our community's been re very receptive to our humble um, two-family organization, and uh, we're in the middle of historic Midland Street, and if anybody out there hasn't been to Midland Street, it's known as the entertainment capital of mid-Michigan. Mm -hmm. We have some 14 bars and restaurants up and down this street, and it's been an entertainment district for well over the last 100 years. I'm sure you've had a drink here before, haven't you? I've not experienced it yet, <laughs> but plan to. But want people to know, too, we're here on the west side of the Saginaw River. And we're just a short walk away from where people could even bring their boat up to Bay City and enjoy that. Or over on the east side, you had the Apple Doors, Princess Winona. There's a lot to do there with downtown Bay City. Enjoy all of that with the festivals and the music and the concerts and everything. And come on over here and experience this. VNO stocks more than 250 types of wine. Enjoy one of 25 selections by the glass with a selection from the tapas or dinner menu or purchase wine by the bottle to take home for your enjoyment and for your guests. Many of the wines are made in Michigan and from other states, while some are imported. 
when you go to some of these bigger chain stores, they have a lot of wine, but you can't taste it, Lori. Mm -hmm. So what we like to do is give people an opportunity to try what's inside. It's a lot easier to spend that money and when you know that you're buying something that you like. So with that in mind, um, putting together a wine tasting for whether it's five people, 50 people or even 100 people is one of the things that I take a lot of pride in and we talk to people in what they're interested in and then pair the wines and, and do the tasting based on that. VNO is known for its genuine and knowledgeable servers. So whether you go in looking for your favorite red, white or ice wine or want a recommendation, VNO will guide you along the way. Wine has become nearly as popular as beer in Michigan. VNO also carries domestic, Michigan craft, and imported beers. There are always eight beers on tap, but you should visit often as they change. So Long Bay City, it's time to move to Midland. Downtown Midland can boast it is the best place for Michigan-made craft beer, cider, mead, and wine due to the Witchcraft Tap Room located at 124 Ashman Street. The owners and servers at Witchcraft say the beer has a history, a purpose, and a story to tell. Let's listen in on the story. The Witchcraft Tap Room supports local businesses. All of the beer, wine, cider, and mead that they serve comes from the great state of Michigan. They feature more than 80 varieties of craft brewed Michigan beer, 40 of which are available on tap, and a wide selection of Michigan-made cider, mead, and wine. And so people can come in and try anything. They've had maybe an adventurous day in a kayak on the Chippewa River, just coming in from the Tridge. Just a little walk up here and you're here at Witchcraft. Absolutely, come on up and uh, you know relax for the rest of the day and try some new beers. Um, we Every time we uh, go through a uh, beer, we put a new one on. Okay. And we've been through about 700 different beers in the, the year we've been open. So there's always something new to try. And what are you, What's your favorite and what are you best known for? What's your favorite bestseller? Drippa from Kunin. And what does that all about? That's a double rice IPA from a brewery down in Warren. Okay. And it's, that's very popular. Okay, that's a lighter beer. The ladies will like that too, not that I'm... That one's a little more bitter. Okay. Um, some people who like the more sweet prefer stouts and porters. Okay. Um, so, you know, but, but we've got a little bit of everything for everybody. That's good. Um, looking at all your decor around here, I like the idea of hanging the growlers from the ceiling. That's really kind of cute. And it looks like you have some artwork on the walls too. Are those from lo local artists? Yes. Um, the artwork on the walls is from a junior high school friend I have from here in Midland. Wow. And he printed these out. And the, uh, the growlers, we actually use as a visual aid to explain uh, beer to customers because we do a, try and do a lot of education here. So you notice that the barley goes from light okay. as you go around, and we also grow hops out back. Really? So we can show customers the element of the beer because it's just yeast, barley, hops, and water. Right. It's always four ingredients, yeah. and you say element, which is very basic here to Midland without <laughs> chemical being here. It kind of fits in, mm -hmm. but it does look like a fun place because I see all of the game boards on the wall. People have a lot of fun with those. It's nice to have some entertainment while you're sitting. That's good. And it helps keep the uh, children entertained because we are family friendly. That's an excellent idea. And do you serve foods here too? Yes, we do uh, soup, salads, paninis. And to keep everything fresh, we also do a lot of specials during the week. Okay. Um, we do sushi from the Crave Cave on uh, Tuesdays. Okay. We bring in a guest chef to do that because that's a very specialized skill. Okay. Uh, tonight we're having curry from Basil Thai Bistro. Um, and we'll do other specials throughout the week. That's wonderful. You know, and we, we work with a lot of local merchants to, um, to bring in a lot of variety. Okay. Um, Marketo O and V makes a lot of our soups and dips. They're about two blocks over on Main Street. Nice. Um, because it just brings so much more variety and it supports a lot of the other community businesses, and which we really like yeah. to do. And there's so much to do downtown Midland too. It's really growing. Yes. New building going on, it's very exciting. Industrial decor, wood tables and chairs, and sometimes kindly called quirky staff, make witchcraft a place that its patrons return to again and again. Enjoy the laid back atmosphere and its character as a place to come to with family and friends. Remarkable appetizers, paninis and hot dogs, dinner specials or a lighter fare can be enjoyed in the tap room. It's a great place to take a selfie or Instagram showing how much fun you are having. 
So far we've given you nothing to whine about in our beer and wine tour of Great Lakes Bay. Until now. Located at 327 East Wackerly in Midland is one of the best places to unwind. At Wine, offering vino to vent by. I think the name says it all. Why the name? How? Um, well, the owners, they started, uh, they, they own a marketing company and they started playing around with things to do and they, uh, one of their uh, representatives came up with a thing called wine and it was originally to sell bottles like of wine to like other women and parties and stuff like that okay. and just be fun with. Well, they decided why not start a restaurant and then we'll start it from there. So um, it's kind of a place that you can vent, relax and have fun at. Wine describes itself as a stylish, but not stuffy, place to air your grievances, relax, or celebrate with friends while enjoying exceptional food and drink unlike anything else in the Great Lakes Bay region. Their philosophy is don't keep things bottled up, whether it's a great wine or your weekly frustrations. Life is to be lived and healthy venting, exquisite tastes, and good company will only help. We have, I think, 42 wines by the glass, uh, 432 bottles to pick from, um, from anywhere from 24 to $435 a bottle. Wow. Can yeah. you do wine tastings? We do. We have uh, six wine samples that you can do. They're flights, and each one has three to pick from. Uh, we have a Chardonnay, a Cab, an Italian Red, a French flight that you can taste and choose. And we always give a taste of any glass pour, beer pour, before anybody buys. Wine features a 30-foot custom bar crafted from old wine barrels, overstuffed leather chairs, a sunlit patio, and a custom-made bocce ball court. Choose something from its enormous glass wine cellar stocked with the largest selection around, including many hard-to-find wines. You'll never whine about your visit to wine. It truly is a place to kick back and take a break from the mundane and escape the annoyances of your day. Prost, that means cheers in German and is heard all through the Bavarian town of Frankenmuth. Our first stop in Frankenmuth is at the Prost Wine Bar and Charcuterie. Prost is actually a German cheer to good food, great wine, and warm conversation and laughter among family and friends. Nothing could be better for this tour. At the Prost Wine Bar, more than 60 different wines are served and it features an ever-changing menu of craft beers and cocktails. The bartenders embrace cocktail making as a culinary art form and make every drink with love, whether it be shaken or stirred to delicious perfection. The restaurant specializes in the guard manger process of charcuterie. Charcuterie is derived from the term char cuit, which translates to mean cooked meat. It became the sophisticated art and science of making cooked meat preparations by skilled individuals who have the talent to season and cook moist and delicious foods and present those foods so they would be extremely attractive to customers. The Prost features meats from all over the world, including Italy, Spain, the U.S., and even some meats made right here in Frankenmuth. Chefs also incorporate fresh and local ingredients that support local businesses. Guests are invited to build their own boards of meats, cheeses, and bread to enjoy with their favorite beverage. Take a picture of your board and pin it to us on Pinterest. Guten Appetit. You know, you can find everything. We have wines from all over the world, um, all different different areas that are that are uh, fantastic, including Michigan. Um, and that's the same with our charcuterie uh, meats and cheeses. Okay. Um, they come from all over the world as well. We hit areas like Italy, France. Uh, we have a German heritage, which is all stuff that's made here in Frankenmuth. Um, and then also we're bringing in a Spanish board as well, everything imported from Spain. And we have uh, wines that match them just as good and complement them fantastic. This place is completely different from any other that I've seen in Frankenmuth. What gave you the idea for the decor? Um, we just uh, wanted to make something kind of similar to the vibe that we like in our home. Okay. And uh, we thought that we could add a dimension to Frankenmuth with another indoor-outdoor uh, spot okay. that can really add to the, to the downtown and bring more people to Frankenmuth for longer stays to support all the businesses. I love it. Yeah. I hope everybody comes up here to try Prost. We hope so too. Prost to that. Prost
such good spirits here in Frankenmuth as we head to the Grand Travers Distillery where ultra premium spirits are served. Found in building B6 of the River Place Shops in Frankenmuth is Michigan's premier micro distillery. There, ultra premium spirits are handcrafted in small batches using local ingredients from Michigan's 45th parallel. Taking the pure and clean crystal clear glacial waters of Michigan and distilling them with local ingredients, Grand Traverse Distillery produces award-winning spirits. Tell us about your store here. Uh, yes, we're from Traverse City. Uh, the distillery's been around since 07, so they decided to come down to Frankenmuth for a uh, tasting room. And uh, we have four vodkas, a gin, and four whiskeys. And we do samplings of all of them as well. And then the tastings are a dollar a piece, or you can do a flight of three and you get to take this little uh, sample cup home with you as a little souvenir of, of your visit here. And Black Star Farms wines, uh, we have five dry and five sweet wines as well. And then that's the same thing too, where you'll get a little uh, wine cup and you can do samplings as well for uh, five bucks too on those. Have you ever wondered what goes into your favorite cocktail? or how the alcohol is made to give it a distinct flavor? Well, just visit the Grand Traverse Distillery in Frankenmuth. The pourers are knowledgeable and display their passion for the products as they serve whatever you are tasting. Ask them anything. How is it made? What flavors are used? How should I serve them? And you also can get new cocktail recipes for different seasons or special events. And I see with a lot of these, you might have some recipes to go along with yes, them. Yes, like the chocolate chocolate vodka, we usually sample it with cream soda if you don't want to do anything mixed on it. Um, the cherry vodka, we have sampled with a little, the lemonade. And then the cherry vodka is our number one seller because you can pretty much mix it with anything. The chocolate's more like seasonal Christmas holiday okay. times because you can put it in white Russians and um, hot cocoa and uh, chocolate martinis especially. Ah, and Herb here is a wonderful martini drinker. That's his right up his alley there. <laughs> yes, which would be the True North. Um, that one's uh, on the sweet and peppery, so that one's very good in a dirty martini or just on the rocks with a twist of lime and lemon and uh, Bloody Mary mix because yeah. Yeah. it has that little sweet and peppery. Aside from the tasting experience, the Grand Traverse Distillery Retail Store offers Black Star Farms wines and gifts to take home or bundle for friends and family. Pick up a wooden keg to flavor your own, stemware and other spirit supplies, or pick out a beautiful shirt to wear as you enjoy the fruit of the vine or a sip of bourbon. After watching today's show, you'll want to obtain more information on all the great stops that we visited on today's show. It's available for free. Just fill in the contact information by visiting our website shown on your screen or call the number on the screen to request an information packet. Also, be sure to go online and place your vote for your favorite watering hole from our visits today. Maybe you're a wine aficionado or your palate leans more towards the spirits, or possibly craft beers are your favorite. Well, we would like to know. So take a minute and go to greatgetaways.tv and pick your favorite. We really enjoy your comments, so be sure to let us know what you thought about today's show. We'll not only read them, but we'll post them on our website. We've set up a travel planner for your own great getaway to the Great Lakes Bay Area that includes the stops from today's show with links for more information. Michael Broadbent, British wine critic, said drinking good wine with good food and good company is one of life's most civilized pleasures. It has been our pleasure spending this half hour with you and we look forward to raising a pint with you in part two of A Taste of Hops, Spirits, and Fruit of the Vine. Be sure to visit the links on greatgetaways.tv for more information and let us know how you enjoyed today's show. Thanks for watching. Cheers.